My name is Paul Winnick. I work for Vaisla as a business application analyst developer. I wish to speak on behalf of Vaisla and briefly share our story of how we use API Wizard. To share a little bit about Vaisla, we are a global leader in environmental and industrial measurement. We employ over 1,400 professionals in about 30 sites worldwide. Vaisla is currently running a large subset of EBS modules in 1206, including manufacturing, financials, HR, SCM, projects, and more. All of our environments are hosted by Oracle On Demand, where the physical farm is located in one of their primary facilities in Scotland. We are working this year on an upgrade to version 12.2.3 and are planning on using API Wizard to assist with some of the conversion activities for that project. Now, API Wizard provides capabilities to our end users that they did not initially have, including the ability to run custom tactical reports and the ability to have certain users update specific fields of an object. For example, allowing purchasing the ability to manage specific item attributes we are also able to provide end users the ability to mass create or update information in EBS, which relieves some of the workload from IT, where we simply create a reusable report or loader that the users can execute when they need. Another reason that we chose API Wizard is because it allows us to use it as a platform for developing new Oracle BI reports. When we selected API Wizard, we started with a trial run consisting of five loading licenses and 10 reporting licenses. For the trial, we selected the most relevant requirements from the business at that time. A subset of these requirements consisted of a loader to update item information, a loader to create new salary proposals in HR, an order backlog report for operations to view the concurrent demand pipe, and an AR invoice report for finance to view all invoices matching a specific criteria. Later, once we had available budget, we upgraded our to enterprise licensing for unlimited loading and unlimited reporting. Since this upgrade, we have been rolling out API Wizard to all users globally, and we are steadily seeing an incline in use as more reports and more loaders are being developed for every business area. A few examples of loaders and reports that we currently are utilizing exist here. So for loaders, we have the Create Salary Proposal, the Manage Purchasing Approval Limits, managing item category assignments, applying item templates, and releasing sales order holds. Some of the reports that we currently utilize on a daily basis are time card detail reports for payroll, cycle count variance reports for inventory, purchasing approval limits, service request charges, as well as an extract of employee qualification information for HR. Some realized benefits, here's one recent loading benefit that we have studied, was creating salary proposals. In API Wizard, it's simply an employee number, the salary, and the start date, and then execute the loader. The approximate effort was one second, which equates to about a 96% improvement. If you know SQL, you're an API Wizard developer. Reports in API Wizard are very easy to refresh. Simply double click on the report and it refreshes. Easy as that. The business can really be more productive. They can find order errors immediately instead of seeing them when it's ready to ship or when they are ready to manufacture the order, etc. Bottom line, the business has access to the data that they did not easily have out of the box. What's our API Wizard roadmap for the rest of this year and into next year? Well, primarily we want to increase the report library. There's a number of requests that we have from the business for more pro proactive reports. We also want to continue to develop loaders. There are also a number of different loaders in our request roadmap for various mass creations and updates. And one extra special thing that we are trying to push to the business is the development of data quality dashboards. Again, thank you very much for your time.